Hunting friends, Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. <clears throat> it's August the 31st, 2024, and uh, just crazy things going on today, including New York uh, over with China, Israel, uh, the West Bank, you name it, it is aflame everywhere. Uh, let's start right here in New York here first. This man here, Jason Goodman, finds army at the New York City Hotel. I have no idea why this is going on, but listen to what he has to say. The army turning this thing into a migrant shelter? Why are you guys here? It's a hotel. Why is the army at this hotel? Uh, we're here at the request of the state, state of New York. The state of New York has put the army into hotels? What the hell is that about? Watch what happens. This is a public hotel, right? What is the army doing in this hotel? Have you guys taken over this hotel? What is so you can't what, the hell going on? what the fuck is the army doing taking over civilian hotels in the middle of New York City? I can't record. So this is what I'm talking about, people. Do you think those guys are there to help you or me? What is going on? Oh my goodness, it's not going to get any better, friends, not so whatsoever. Uh, it was posted over here on Clint Russell's uh, Twitter page. He's the guy that posted this. Could be This could be a huge video from earlier today. Seems to confirm Lars report that they are really preparing to lock up Trump mere weeks before the election using the military. No less, this country is in real trouble. <clears throat> well, they'll definitely cause a riot doing that for sure. Anyway, a uh, ramming incident has happened once again in the West Philippines. Uh, see where the Philippine Coast Guard vessel, the BRP, uh, belonging to the Chinese Coast Guard while they were operating near the Sabina Shoal. Only 123 north uh, uh, NM from the island of uh, Palawan is the Philippines. This is the second ramming incident to occur in less than 48 hours. So, yeah, Chinese, they must really have reinforced their ships to be able to ram everybody the way they're doing. Uh, but they are causing a lot of problems. I can only imagine when somebody goes to resist, right? What's it going to be like then when they actually resist? So, anyway, that's what the Chinese are doing, ramming ships and everything that get into their, or what they consider their waters there. This was kind of an interesting uh, 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 video here. Hezbollah using a kamikaze drone destroys the Israeli electronic warfare system drone dome designed to counter, uh, to counter drones. And that drone uh, was not stopped. Instead, that drone ended up making it into its location. I uh, don't know if that's the part of the system they wanted to knock out, but they definitely hit whatever part that was there, allegedly knocking out that system there when it hit. Um, and I guess that's a different angle of a video there uh, showing that it was actually struck there. Uh, continuing on, we also have uh, this here happening in Janine, or near Janine. And I want you to be able to hear this. These are reporters uh, I'm not sure, I'm sure Arabic reporters most likely. There are different countries that are in and around Janine. They're all being shot at, but this group here, they definitely got the warning shot from Israelis. They didn't want them covering anything. Watch what happens. Let me back Okay, we want to best. So they get shot at. You know, this is why do you think so many journalists are being killed over in Israel right now? When you have Israeli snipers intentionally targeting journalists. I think 69 have been killed over in Israel already. Uh, this is a crime, uh, a complete crime that should be stopped, but no one's stopping it. This one here is rather disturbing as well. You won't see the death of this eight-year-old boy right here, but uh, clearly Israeli soldiers there on your screen, they come around, he's trying to get out, he's wounded already from Israeli sniper fire there, but they come out and they make sure he doesn't make it out. At first I thought it was a girl, but it is a young boy trying to get out, and he's already been shot. I don't know if it's, I guess it's in the leg from what it looks like there. They try to get him out, 
Then this guy's gonna get, sh I don't know if he gets shot, just falls down, but they begin firing again, and of course, the little boy was actually killed. You know, it makes absolutely no sense to me the way people are doing, but they do it anyway. Uh, as I promised to you, General Soleimani, what really happened? Uh, I did post it. It is on patreon.com forward slash Israeli News Live. This will be another video that I cannot share here. I just, I, I just can't do it. Uh, not at least in the traditional sense. Uh, I may try to post it later, but I just got to figure out how to do it. That's the safest way possible. But uh, you'll see things that you never thought could be true. Anyway, I'm Stephen Benner, and you're watching Israeli News Live. Thank you for your support. Thank you for the support of this broadcast. IsraeliNewsLive.org is our website. Yana is beginning to start to post once again over there, so you definitely want to check it out. We've been doing some changes to the website as well, so visit it. And uh, thank you again for your support. Whether you support us through Patreon or via our website, IsraeliNewsLive.org, we thank you, and God bless you.